Hi, my name is Jared Joyce, inventor and entrepreneur. If uh, you might recall, previously on Quirky, I had submitted the ingredient pump, and you all seemed to love the idea, but one of the things that came up was that what you're really interested in more than dry ingredient auto measuring solutions was to have liquid auto measuring solutions. So with that in mind, uh, from all the comments and feedback you gave me, I was able to surmise four physical embodiments that I think will uh, solve all the requests that you had in those comments. So the first is the idea that you're at your pan, you're cooking, you want to get some oil in it. No real measuring is required. Currently your alternative is to grab your olive oil bottle, unscrew the cap, and pour a little bit of oil into the pan. Screw it back on, put it back, and what I am suggesting is an uh, perhaps an extract and adapt in that this is a shampoo bottle so you've probably seen the split cut top on them and if you could just simply say I need oil in my pan you have a grab and go solution you can go ahead and squeeze this into the pan good you're done back on the stove now as far as the industrial design the idea here is that you would have a label showing what liquid ingredient is inside uh, I don't really think this base will be necessary because I don't think it will leak. But if for some reason there were leakage issues, you'd have a base that you could put it into. So that's the first of the four embodiments I'm going to walk through in today's video. Second, uh, you had talked about that you want an auto measuring solution, but you don't particularly care if it's a plastic container or if sunlight is touching your oil. And so with that in mind, the next uh, extract and adapt idea is we've got uh, ACT uh, mouthwash, and they've got a design here where you can squeeze, it comes up to the fill line, and now you've got a measurement. And we'll go ahead and add that to our solution as well. It's gonna be tasty. And you might've noticed that that pouring solution was a little off, so this here is a wine stopper pouring spout. And what that looks like, is that you plug it into your wine bottle and then it evenly pours it into your glass or in this case our pan. So the proposed industrial design of that solution would be a plastic bottle that you can unscrew the top, put in liquid ingredient of your choice, screw it back on, and then when you squeeze the bottle, just like when you squeeze the mouthwash, it would auto measure up, gradients would be marked, and then you got a pour spout for an even distribution. That is the second embodiment. The third gets into the situation where you were saying that you don't want your olive oil touching plastic. Uh, you don't want it affected by the sun. And so this is a more expensive higher end solution, but again, we can totally do it if it's what you want. So that proposed industrial design would be that uh, you've got a glass bottle, dark green probably for olive oil, and inside you would have an aluminum straw instead of a plastic straw. What would screw on top here, this is kind of like the, the bulb of the blood pressure cuff, so that's rubber that you can squeeze. And when you squeeze that, again, the liquid will rise up to the gradient of your choice, and then you pour it into the container, or the pan in this case. And again, that's solution number three. Fourth solution, final solution, is for those of you that are saying, uh, I've already got too much uh, stuff in my kitchen, I don't wanna buy any new uh, products, but I do wanna take my existing glass bottles, put on a top that doesn't require any squeezing, but still gives me an auto measure solution. That idea, as you can see here, is you would take your existing bottle and then this little spigot that you can stick on top of the bottle, it has a plastic measuring cup attached to it. So the idea would be that you would pour, the olive oil would come out, as you meet the fill line of your liking, then you tip, and as soon as you tip, this stops pouring. Uh, no more olive oil can get into that pipe, and then it tips off the back into your pan. Uh, this also could be very effective for the weekend bartender, uh, someone that's not familiar with those ingredients that could go on uh, different alcohol bottles, not just olive oil bottles. So in summary, I'll walk you through the four solutions one more time. You've got your 
squeeze grab and go solution. You've got your liquid auto measure in a plastic container. You've got your liquid auto measure in a glass bottle with a squeeze bulb on top. And then you've got your auto measure solution with no squeeze, just plug into the top of the bottle and tip. Getting back to our recipe creation for the day, we've got uh, some olive oil twice, a little bit of mouthwash. I think we'll go ahead and add an egg. We can, uh, well, we'll just throw the whole egg in there. And then a little bit of bread. And then what you go ahead and do is you cover that with a towel, put that on high for about 15 to 20 minutes. You remove the towel and you've got molasses cookies, just like my mom never used to make. Mmm, so good.